G'day, it's John Willis from Club Marine TV and today I have the distinct pleasure of introducing one of the heroes of the Australian boating industry, long time boat builder from Mornington, Victoria, Mel Hart. How are you? Yeah, I'm well, John, and uh, thanks for coming down here and we've uh, delighted to show you our facility and uh, love to take you on board here. Excellent, there's a lot to see, come on through. Mel, we're up in the boardroom at the moment and it really does show your progression into the boats that you're building nowadays, which are worldwide accepted commercial vessels going from the drawing board with a whole heap of different versions right through to vessels that are capable of look what's on here behind us. Port Phillip heads on a pretty standard day. It's amazing, isn't it? Mate, well, you go back a long time in boat building to the yachts as well. So where did you actually kick off? Well, John, as you know, I grew up on Western Port Bay. I, my father was a harbour master. You know, I ended up playing with boats on tugs and pilot boats and lines boats and all those things down at uh, Stony Point. Yep. And I progressed out of there into yachts. We, you know, I sailed at uh, Summers and Hastings and, and then uh, my love or passion for boats was I wanted to become a boat builder. And I started uh, building boats at the age of 15 started into yachts, we built Kel Steinman sort of uh, uh, designs and strip plank cedar and then Jim Inglis cold moulded boats and all, all racing yachts Yep. and grew with that scene and built racing yachts for 25 years. Wow, it's amazing and those skills have progressed now into, let's face it, the, the materials and the designs that we're using nowadays have just progressed so far from synthetic constructions and Tell us a little bit about the design of the, the because the, the hull themselves are just amazing, aren't they? Uh, the, the, this is fantastic. We, I, I, again, when the GFC hit, we moved into the commercial world. Uh, that we, we were fortunate that we were, were awarded a contract with uh, Port Phillip Sea Pilots. They'd been overseas uh, looking at all different vessels. They'd lost a boat in the heads here. They wanted to see that they, they could never afford to do that again, so they did, went to about eight different countries around the world. They came back with this French design and realised it was far superior than anything else they'd, they'd tried. And uh, long story short is we were awarded the contract. Well done. And uh, hey, we're building boats today for Port Phillip Sea Pilots, to Port Hedland, to now Dubai, New Zealand, all over the world. So, you know, we, we, we're thrilled. It's truly a great story of Australian ingenuity, invention, and downright guts and determination, isn't it? Hey, it is, and uh, you could never script the book, no. but it's been fantastic and the, and the journey's incredible and still going. Mel, I know you've made some big plans for the future, but how about we go and have a look at what you've actually built in Mornington at the moment? Love to show you, so let's go downstairs and I can show you the factory. Mel, we're just in one part of the workshops down here, and this is really the, the blood and bone of the whole thing is the moulds, isn't it? To the Panda Karen designed hulls. Can you tell us just a bit about them? Well, it is, and the great thing about these boats is you've got a big bow, so a wave piercing bow. They are self riding, all our boats are self riding, and uh, you know, it starts here in a mould, and then as you can see, this is a second boat we're sending up to Dubai, just on my left, and uh, yep. it's amazing. And the ride and the efficiency of these boats is exceptional. Second to none? Second to none. Way second to go. None. Mel, Infused Technology has really been a mainstay of the commercial side of your boats. You were a, uh, an absolute leader in the field when you brought a couple of Kiwis over to show you the way. Well, we had to move from timber into composite. Under vacuum bagging, pre-preg, we brought the Kiwis in. Our technology's gone from uh, more advanced from there. So today we infuse our laminates. Um, we have uh, some, some amazing structures. We built a whole hull with structure in it, dry fibre, and then infuse the whole laminate. And, um, uh, you know, and we end up with a world-class, world-leading technology here in Mornington. That's absolutely as tough as nails, and it needs to be. 
Mel, once upon a time, we used to uh, do our drawings for boats on the concrete floor with a bit of chalk. We've come a long way from that nowadays. Absolutely, John. Today, it's all done on computer, all, all done on CAD, and it's, uh, it's a, a game changer for us. Absolutely. And what's more, it just gives a complete record of everything that's gone in, all the options, all the facilities, engines, drives, the whole lot. Correct. Great for the customer for the long term. A, a customer loves it. So, you know, fantastic. Mate, Mornington's been good to you over the years, but it's time to move on. You've outgrown it. Yes, John. Uh, yeah, more, as you say, Mornington's been great, but we've bought Yoringa Harbour and uh, we're relocating over there, building a new facility, giving the harbour a lot of love, redeveloping it, and um, yeah. Looking towards a great future in a beautiful spot too. Yeah, absolutely. So we're, we're excited. I might head over and have a look. Please. So we've come all the way across the Mornington Peninsula from Hart Marine in Mornington and we're down at Yoringa Boat Harbour on the top end of Western Port with Mark. How are you Mark? Very well indeed, thank you, on this gorgeous day. Oh, how good is yeah. it? Hey? And you're the general manager oh. of this wonderful place. I am, I'm a lucky soul, that's for sure. Absolutely. Mate, you've got everything down here in just a wonderful atmosphere and a wonderful environment as well. Absolutely. It's. Uh... Unusual, I believe, to have such a beautiful marina and a complex that we have, which is, you know, a working harbour as well, but right alongside a beautiful natural environment. And it really is a great boating atmosphere, isn't it? It's the whole experience coming to Yoringa. Yes, well, people come down here to do their boating and also work on their boats and get away from, I guess, the, the rat race, if one wants to call it that, and especially the last few years, as we know. Um, so it is a real retreat to come down to Yoringa. That's what boating's all about. Yep. But mate, you look after everything here. You've got all facilities. Yeah, we do. Look, we, we provide for, um, for those that just want to come down and, and, and go for a fish, um, have their boats launched from, uh, from, from our trailer park and our undercover storage as well. And we're working on having new equipment to, to be able to lift uh, um, boats up to 75 tonne. Um, so we've got our new ASCOM lift, we've got a 38 tonne uh, Abbey trailer um, which is being utilised uh, uh, over the last week and uh, it's been a, a great success and, and we've got a lot of uh, multi-hull uh, owners who are wanting to come to Yoringa to, uh, to use those services. Which is really one of the biggest growth areas in the whole boating industry. And mate, when you're down here, you can't miss out on going and visiting Captain Jack's restaurant. That is a special place and uh, I recommend it. The atmosphere is second to none and if you want it, the experience of being at a marina and enjoying first class food and wine and cocktails in particular, <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a great place to come. It is. It's on the doorstep, not far from Melbourne, not far from uh, virtually anywhere and a great destination on the water as well. Very much so. Boat builders in the country at Hart Marine in Mornington moving over to this beautiful destination at Yoringa to complete the entire boat building and boating experience for everybody. And Yoringa, it's not just about the destination, it's about the entire boating experience. And at the end of the day, don't forget Captain Jack's Restaurant as well. So it's a culinary experience too. And on that note, I might just have to go and try one of their little cocktails. This has been John Willis, for Club Marine TV.